Gullies are one object on the trail that almost all horses seem to initially fear. They snort, they prick their ears forward, they back up a few steps, and they try their best to avoid the gully at all costs. Unless your horse is trained to confidently pick his way through a gully before encountering one on the trail, he's likely to pitch a fit. G'day mate, Clint Anderson here from Down Under Horsemanship. Well, in this month's digital download, we're gonna be talking about everything related to gullies and ditches, whether it's crossing a riverbed, crossing a creek, crossing a gully, anything that, that basically has a change of depth perception. Horses do not like changes of depth perception. That's why they leap over the gully or leap over the puddle. So in this month's digital download, we're gonna be showing you how to build your horse's confidence and make him a trail riding expert. For this training session, Clinton is back in Arizona to work with a group of No Worries Club members and clinicians. After working in the arena and applying the method on the trail, the riders are ready for their last training session with Clinton. Okay guys, so in this segment what we're going to talk about is everything under the category of crossing gullies, crossing rivers, or riverbeds, going up and down hills, okay? Horses typically struggle and want to rush going down a hill or up a hill. It's very natural for a horse to want to haul us down a hill and then haul us up the, back the other side. Or if they come across a gully, they'll want to leap over a gully rather than step slowly down through it. Anytime a horse is escaping something by either running fast or leaping over something, there, it's, it's a much more dangerous situation for the horse and for the rider because you might accidentally come off when they leap over a, you ever notice a horse will, will step over a, you know, a branch just an inch, uh, inch round and he leaps over it like it's four feet tall. It's not good for the horse or the rider. It's them using the reactive side of their brain. So what we're gonna use is this basically natural wash here in Arizona. So when it rains, all water comes down through here. It's, it's a dry, like a dry creek bed until it rains. And we're gonna, I want you to pretend that this wash is kind of like a skateboard bowl. You know when they have the Winter Olympics where they have the, the skateboarders, okay? They'll go down and up the other side of the pipe and then back down and up there. I want you to kind of in your mind to think that this ditch, this wash is kind of like a big skateboard bowl. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zigzag across it as many times as we can all the way to the end. And what we're trying to teach our horses is I want a well-trained horse to walk slowly down the hill and walk slowly up the hill. The opposite would be trotting down, trotting up, or the opposite would be leaping over the gully or leaping over the, the, um, the ditch in the ground. Horses struggle with changes of depth perception. Horses don't naturally have very good depth perception. That's why they'll often leap over something that might be six inches deep but their eyes can't tell if it's six inches deep or six feet deep. So they naturally struggle with a lot of changes of elevation of things on the ground. Shadows mess with them a lot, and so does elevation changes, okay? So to start out with, I'm gonna show you the best possible place to do this. In Texas, I had a really great creek that was deep and we had cutouts cut into it all the way down the creek to practice this. This will work well as well. To begin with, this is a great place to start building your horse's confidence. Let me say the opposite. It would be terrible to pick a horse that has not been ridden outside much or green broke to pick a really steep embankment that's you know 10 feet deep and 10 feet up the other side. That's like putting your child in the deep end of the pool and trying to teach them how to swim. We start in the shallow end to build their confidence and as they get better, we walk to the deep end. So this here, this is a, a road here that they put through this wash. So, you know, four wheelers, ATVs go through here. This is a great place to start because it's not narrow. Remember, narrow trails and narrow ditches and narrow space make horses feel trapped and claustrophobic. So wider spaces make them relax. 
So this should be relatively easy. So Kristen will demonstrate what I want you guys to do. So here's the general gist of it. In the beginning, when you first start teaching a horse to go up and down hills, okay, so we're gonna use this gully, but I want you to use your imagination. This could be just one side of a hill. So you got the bottom of the hill and the top of the hill, okay? Or it could be like a bowl, like a riverbed. You come down, flat, up. Regardless of what it is, the same principles apply. We want the horse to think it's hard work to be up here. It's easy to be down the middle and it's hard to be on the other side. So in Texas, when I had my creek, we had trees all along the top of the riverbed. So when we would come up from the riverbed, when they're in a hurry, we just go back to circling trees and bushes. So it's gonna be hard work up here, push-ups and crunches. It's easy down through the gully. When they get to the other side, more push-ups and crunches. So let me just kind of demonstrate it here and then we'll kind of all do it as a group. So Kristen, walk him down. And this horse has had very limited exposure to outside. So she's gonna walk him down through this gully. It's pretty wide, so he shouldn't struggle with it much. She'll wait till he gets up the other side. Wait, wait till you get to the top. Now she's gonna start trotting circles. She's gonna pretend that there's a bush there, okay? So it, we went around 10,000 bushes over the last couple of days. So she's gonna go around four or five times. Then she's gonna change circles right there and go the other way four or five times the other way. Now, if you wanted to, you could do figure eights. Remember how with the Arab, do, you could do figure eights, but you need to do at least 10 type circles and make it work. Righto, Kristen, now let him walk back down through it. Now, this is the easy part, release the reins. Now, just pretend he trotted, just ask him to trot. We'll just pretend he hurried, wait, wait, wait. Now, circle again. So even though he didn't screw that up, we, accident, we, we made him trot. I just want you to pretend, if your horse is in a hurry to get up the other side, let him trot. But as soon as you get to the top, put his ass back to walk again. So, so do, do a figure eight there, for example, Kristen. She's just gonna pretend there's two bushes here. Left hand, left leg, right hand, right leg. Okay? So all we're saying is, hey, Hurley, why are you going to be in a hurry to get up here? There's nothing but more walk up here. Remember, horses are basically lazy creatures. When they realize there's more walk up here, they're not going to be in a hurry to come up here. Now let him walk. Dare him. Ah, now just look there, look there, look what happened. It already happened with him. He, he automatically said, are you sure we need to get to the other side? Because he's already figured out, he's smart. But on the other side's more what? Figure eight, more work. Now ask him to go across. Look how slow he's walking. Now here's important. If they trot, you must let them get all the way to the top weight now. Why is this important? You must let them get all the way. How do I say this? You're trying to let them com complete the robbery. Don't arrest them halfway out the bank. Let them get out on the street and then arrest them. This is like the door of the bank. It's too close. Let them commit to the robbery and arrest their ass outside in the street, okay? So very, very important. Now, you could use your own little creativity. You could do circles. You could do figure eights. You could even do the serpentine exercise. That's a great one. But basically, you're going to be busy up there for maybe... 45 seconds to a minute, okay, of work. Righto, Kristen, bring him back, turn him loose. Let's see what he does. Now at any point, if he tries to wait or stop, let him, like rub him there. So he naturally paused then, she didn't ask him to. Why did he pause? Even though he hasn't been outside, he's had a, a lot of riding, he's a three-year-old, but he's had quite a bit of riding, he realizes it's work out here. It didn't take very much and he's figured that out. So if your horse volunteers to stop going down the hill or going up or even in the middle, what do you do? Let him think he beats you. You silly horse, you're so smart. Let him be, let, him, let your horses cheat you in the right area. What I'm saying is, 
As soon as he relaxes, don't gouge the shit out of him, kick him and trot him up the other side. Let him think he's screwing you a little bit by waiting. Nobody ever comes off a horse that creeps down a river, a creek. Nobody ever gets hurt by a horse taking their time and placing their feet. The opposite is when they leap or they run up and run down. Now, a common mistake, bring him up please, Kristen. And when you get up here again, look at him. He don't want to get up here, does he? That, my horses dream about being left in riverbeds. Okay, they never want to get to the top of a river. Now, we're going to make it a little harder. We're now going to move down to the next section. Keep him busy. So everybody move down here. Want more? Get more. The No Worries Club is the best way to get the most out of your training experience. Stick around to find out more. Hey mate, Clint Anderson here. For the past 20 years, I've devoted my life to creating the best training tools and videos available to help bring my method to you. But there's only one problem. You can't bring your TV into the arena. That's why we've been hard at work developing a new platform to deliver the method to you in a whole new way. A way that brings 20 years of horsemanship and puts it in the palm of your hand. Introducing the mobile method. It's part of the new Down Under digital experience and it makes learning the method easier than ever before. Let me show you how it works, mate. Now you can always have access to the method, even when you're on the go or at the barn. The Down Under Horsemanship app gives you access to your digital training kits and allows you to download videos and training content directly to your mobile device or view them on your computer. The Down Under Horsemanship app also offers over 86 hours of free in-depth training content. No Worries Club members will have full access to Clinton's ever-growing training library and a massive amount of members-only features and information. And the best part is, you can view and interact with each lesson on your mobile device or computer, giving you ultimate access to the method anytime and any place. The method is the key to getting the most out of your partnership with your horse. We want everybody to experience the difference it will make. That's why we created three new ways for you to get the training content you need at the price you want. Our basic level allows you to purchase and download training content to your device at our standard price with no annual fee. When you become a No Worries Club member for $19.99 a month, you get up to 50% discount on any of your purchases. Plus you get eight digital videos and four digital journals a year and access to the No Worries Club website, the largest collection of method material and resources in the world. Plus, you can become part of our social network and chat with thousands of other folks just like you. If you want the ultimate experience, mate, the premium membership is for you. You get all the benefits of the No Worries Club, a printed copy of our No Worries Club quarterly journal, and access to all of the method and the professional series kit training videos. Altogether, that's thousands of dollars of horse training and 20 years of horsemanship delivered right to your fingertips. So there you have it, folks. The new mobile method app is the easiest and most effective way to deliver the maximum amount of knowledge at a minimal amount of time. And with the new No Worries Club, you can be assured you're going to get exactly what you need at a price that's right for you. It's a free download, so what are you waiting for, mate? Get started today. Start your digital training experience today. Visit our website and download the Down Under Horsemanship app to experience the method in a whole new way.